the LG G3, the G4, the G5, and the newest and the best from the LG, the LG G6. So you can see from all the generation how LG has improved their phones. Uh, the G3 uh, stepped up the game when it comes to the display resolution. The LG G4 was one of my favorite phones from 2015. Great camera, but the only thing that lacked was the battery life. Then the LG G5, which was more of an experimental phone, you know, they added this modularity. And now with the G6, it's a true flagship, super premium, and the display is amazing. They stepped up their game completely. And uh, I mean, the G6, in my opinion, is like the only phone that is challenging the Galaxy S8 right now. So um, yeah, it's a super good phone and it's a super good family. Unfortunately, you don't have the G2, it died. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna do the test here. Obviously we get power button on the back on all of these devices. So uh, let me just quickly power them off at the same time. Actually, we're gonna restart them at the same time. Yes, we have the power off and restart option. So that will be much, much easier. Okay. Let's quickly power off and restart on our devices. Okay, I don't want to use that. Of course, the G6 does have uh, the Google Assistant, which I'll be trying out. So, power off and restart at the same time. Okay, okay, go. Okay, G6. LG 5 is taking a lot of time. Who is going to be G3 or G6? Let's see. Okay, LG G6 first to boot up and followed by, I think, no, G4. Okay, then G3 and it's going to be the G5 on the last so wow i mean the last time i did the test the winner was i think the lg g2 if i remember correctly but yeah uh you can see that uh, the boot up performance on the g6 is definitely uh a, a lot faster compared to the previous g series never get a 21 processor i don't know why the lg g5 took a lot of time uh, but uh, yeah, let's just quickly unlock all devices and now I'm gonna run a benchmark test. So for the benchmark test, I'll be launching Geekbench 4 on all of the phones. Let's run the CPU benchmark and I'll be back when they are done. All right guys, we are done. And as you can see, we have an error on the LG G4. It always happen, you know, when I press this run CPU benchmark, button you can see the error so uh, the scores are not that great I mean uh, that's why I don't really rely on benchmarks they're not optimized so I don't know why the G6 is scoring less you know it should be scoring about 5,000 same with the G5 but uh, with the Geekbench 4 uh, it is scoring less 3,279 uh, a little bit less compared to the Snapdragon 821 Power G6 and also very close uh, single core score as well uh, but still I uh, will be testing out the real life performance, you know, side by side. That is a speed test that we all enjoy instead of this. And worse is uh, the G3, which has a, a single core of 1026 and 2331. So, overall, LG G6, I mean, Snapdragon 821, the G5, Snapdragon 820, not gonna be a huge, huge difference performance wise, but still, it is a, it is a chipset that can give you a very smooth experience and very fast experience without any lag. And again, I will be doing my speed tests uh, with their devices, so stay tuned for all that coverage. And of course, it is definitely, definitely a lot faster than the G3 benchmark wise so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace out